hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so to start off today's video i'm going to be unboxing this package that i got from julius jewelry and i'm so so excited to show you guys what i received um they did reach out to me and ask me if i would like to pick out a piece of jewelry and show it on my channel of course i said yes once i looked on the website i was really really pleased and i just honestly could not pick one out but before we get into that i did want to show you guys this booklet because it came with a lot of information um it comes with everything about the brand the process of the making of the jewelry the metal that it uses um the different types of styles and just a bunch of different things like look at this it's so so cute for halloween and i would definitely wear that necklace it's just so cute um it also has some wedding items some wedding bands and some engagement rings bridal rings bunch of different styles and everything looks so high quality like they even have some jewelry based off artwork a starry night i think that is so so cute and look at this little necklace it has a little panda on it i really really love it yeah so this booklet bas basically shows you everything um and it just shows like the different styles and everything i really love the booklet um, the next thing I'm going to show you that came inside the box is a little bag. So this would be good for if you purchase one and you want it to like gift it to someone, you can just put the box in the bag. I really like that. And now let's take the box out of the container. So this is what the box looks like. I do like the size. It's very nice quality. I love it. Like I'm so shocked because it honestly is just like such good quality. But this is how the inside looks once I open it. And of course, here is the piece of jewelry that I picked out. Um, the piece of jewelry that I picked out, I don't remember the name, but I will have it linked down below. Um, I did pick out a tennis bracelet. I love bracelets. Um, and look at this. This is just so freaking gorgeous. Like, I absolutely love it. When I was filming this part, I'm pretty sure I was like just on at it for so long off camera, but I was like, I have to get this video done. So I was like, okay, let me hurry up and show them everything. I'm like, it's so, so sparkly. I love anything sparkly. And I do love that it's silver. And then on the back here, we have a little adjustment um, little thingy. And I really love this feature because any of the other ones that I have, like the clamps break. And I just don't really like that. It's easy to put on and it's easy to take off. And once you just pull the strings, you can adjust it as tight as you want or as loose as you want. And yeah, I really, really love this little feature here on the back of it. And also, I just love the way that it dangles. So I just went ahead and put it on my arm. And I was kind of struggling, but it wasn't hard at all. I just went ahead and tightened it up. And then I'm just going to remove my glove just a little bit so that you guys can see what it looks like on my arm. And this is what it looks like. It's just so freaking gorgeous. Like, I cannot tell you how much I love it. Um, and I do have a discount code for you. Um, they haven't emailed me back yet, so I will leave my discount code down below if you want to check out the website and use my discount code to purchase anything I 100% recommend. And I don't think like my camera does it any justice. Like it's so cute and sparkly in the sun and it's going to look so cute when I take my nail pictures. And like I said, you can regift these. So I do plan on purchasing one, probably the same one for my mom, because when I showed her, she really, really loved it. She's just like me love anything sparkly so like i said i will have everything linked down below for that and now moving on to this next package and i am so so happy i received my first kira sky pr package like i just honestly can't believe they noticed me and reached out to me but i wanted to show y'all how i ended up cutting the box like i don't know why i just went in with my scissors and cut that because i did show this on like my story on instagram and i know that the box flips up i don't know why i cut that and i was kind of sad because i do like to keep my cute packaging like as you guys see this packaging is just so so cute and adorable and let's just go ahead and get right into it so it comes with a lot of these little styrofoam packaging thingies and they are so cute they are shaped like hearts i am a sucker for cute packaging and i am like just wowed by this one package that i got from kira sky and they did send me um some gel liners and once i took the first one out i did notice that the second one was like spilled and yeah it was the white one and it wasn't closed properly so it did spill 
so i'm just gonna wipe it up and try to clean it and don't mind this part i'm just putting it back in there like nothing happened so i can get on with the unboxing so now let's really really get into it so like i said they did send me their glow in the dark gel liner collection and this is new um and can we just like get into the packaging like this little box is honestly just the cutest thing i love like it just looks so fun and i love the little um thingies on it like the glowing neon effect i really like that then here is the back it did have a little bit spill on it but the gel liners inside wasn't damaged so that's all that matters and then the second one here it has a few different colors and i really love the color selection i am going to show you one by one and swatch them just so that you guys can see and so this little part here is stuffed with some of the little hard styrofoam packaging because i do recall they said one of them was going to be shipped um separately so they just put that there to protect them from like knocking together and everything um i haven't received that one but i was just like i'm just gonna go ahead and film this video but guys look at this when i open this up the tops are just so freaking cute like i just love it so much and i'm sorry if i say cute so much in this video but like everything about this kara sky unboxing was just so aesthetically pleasing and like it was just so cute so yeah let's just go ahead and take all of them out so i can swatch them and just go ahead and start the video so this is all of them minus one like i said that one was supposed to be sending to me separately but i haven't received it and now i did decide to put them like side by side to show you the names and the colors at the same time and i really love the names of these like it was just so creative like this one is by Luminous, which is a really pretty shade of blue um this one is there she glows like they have little puns in the names i just think it's so cute um here we have nova this one is totally lovable this one is in the flash and yeah i just think the names are really really cute but after this i am going to be swatching them here's jack glow lantern and i did notice we got two oranges but they are a different shade most in my heart it's lit and last but not least, we have Teal the Show. And now I'm going to get into the swatches. I did just speed this part up because at the time, I didn't really feel like just editing the parts where I'm swatching them. So I just put the whole clip in and I just sped it up. But yeah, I do love the color range that they sent over to me in this collection. Um, the consistency of these and the quality of these are just so freaking good. They kind of remind me of like gel paints like they have the consistency and like coverage of gel paints but they aren't that thick at all like i just think they are a perfect mix of both of them and i just really love these so thank you to kira sky for sending this over to me um i did want to say i don't have a discount code for these but um hopefully i will become an ambassador for them because i really love using the products that i have even though i don't have much but i live by their acrylic brushes and i just think they are so good so hopefully i do become an ambassador and that way i will have a code for you guys if you want to save some money with purchasing from them but yeah these are all of the colors and here's what they look like let me know your favorite color down below like i honestly cannot choose but of course if i had to i would say the pink i just think it was so cute um and then i did try to show you that they glow in the dark but it was still sunny outside when i filmed this and my room just wasn't getting dark enough even if once i cut all of the lights off so i will show you that at the end so like i said i do use their brushes a lot and i live by these super good quality i'm going to be using their kalinsky acrylic brush in this size 10 and i will have this link down below for my application i am just going to be doing a simple clear set because like my thought process behind this they wanted like two reels from me and like i wanted to obviously unbox it on my channel to show you guys and the thought process behind the application was i was gonna end up doing like a clear set and just doing two different designs on them but once i finished this design i didn't even want to like file it off so i'll be doing a whole nother set for the second video that i have to do for them so i'm just going to be showing you guys one of the nails i did my application on all of my nails are just going to be clear keeping it simple and doing my design on top i don't want the application to take too much time and just because i wanted the gel liners to be like the center of the show so this is going to be a really quick application and then i'll get into my nail art 
I'm not gonna show the filing either. Um, but yeah, my application was very simple. I love working with clear. Clear is always the easiest powder for me to use, so I never really have problems when working with clear. So yeah, it's not gonna take me that much time left at all, but I'm just gonna finish, go ahead, showing this part, and I'll get into my nail art in a few seconds. Six hours later. So after that, I did go ahead and finish my application, shape, file, and buff, wash my hands off camera. It did say six hours later, but it did not take me six hours to do that. Um, I just thought it would be funny to add that in there. But yeah, here's how the nails are looking. And now let's go ahead and get into the nail art. So these polishes are not from Kara Sky, but I did go ahead and just mix them off camera just so that I can have them ready. Um, I went with a few shades that I know I was gonna need or potentially would use. So I did end up mixing like a purple. I wanted the purple to be like a really deep purple, but also like very sheer. Even though the color I'm applying looks sheer, it wasn't the color I was going for, but it did in fact work. Like it wasn't a big deal. Um, it still worked and I am going to be doing two coats of this because it wasn't like the opacity, opacity that, that I wanted. So I am going to clean up, do my curing for 30 seconds and then go back in doing a second layer. Like I said, it wasn't the color I wanted, but it did work. Once I had that cured, I am going to be taking this Not Polish Black Gel Polish and I am just going to be focusing on like the backgrounds of the nails first just so that I can have a nice like background to see, basically just to see how I'm going to be doing it um, and just kind of see what's going to work. I did not create this set. This is an inspo set I saw off Instagram. So yeah, I did not create this. I did have to switch up one nail though and I'll get more into that later. But for now, I'm just going to be doing two layers of this black on my pinky and my thumb. I'm not going to show my thumb just because it's the same process. And I am going to be doing two layers because this black gel polish is a lot sheer. Like you wouldn't even think it's that sheer just by looking at it on the brush and the bottle. But it is sheer. It's a nice sheer though. I do like it. But for this set, it's not what I wanted. So I did two coats curing for 30 seconds between and of course 30 seconds after. So this is what we have so far and I was trying to decide which nail I should do this green on and I did end up doing my ring finger. So for this one, I am just going to take that Kara Sky gel liner and just go over the entire nail doing a full coverage nail and I really love how this applied to the full nail. Like it was as if I did have a like a regular brush size. Like usually with the gel liners, I would have been going and going like forever trying to fill up this whole entire nail. But it was like this because I did have a little bit more on my brush than I would typically use for when I'm doing nail art. And like I really love the coverage. The coverage was amazing. I do think that had a lot to do with it. I've heard a lot of good things from Kara Scott and how good their quality is. I've always wanted to try their monomer and their powders because... I just love doing acrylic nails and yeah, I just want to try them. Also their dip powder, um, they do have two-on-one formulas. I see Casey Nails use their dip powder two-on-one formula all the time and she makes the application look so effortless. So yeah, I just want to try their powders. But now moving on to the next nail, I am going to be taking Nova, which is the Kara Sky White Gel Liner. And I'm just going to be doing three stripes vertically on the nail. And I'm really taking my time making sure to get these straight, but this one was a little bit wobbly. So I did go ahead and do some cleanup off camera. I did flash cure that one just in case I have to remove anything else and I wouldn't mess that one up. I'm just going to do three lines going down the nail, curing for 15 seconds in between. Once I do the last one, I will be curing for 30 seconds just to finish sealing that design in. This is what the nail looks like. I really love it. It's super neat. 
um so now moving on to the next nail i do have some black gel polish but like i said the nut polish black gel polish is super sheer so i'm not going to use it i did end up switching to this nails by dev black gel liner paint and i am going to be creating if i haven't mentioned i'm pretty sure i haven't but of course you guys seen the title and the thumbnail i am going to be doing nightmare before christmas nails and weird thing though i haven't even seen this movie i just thought the design was so cute there's actually a lot of halloween movies that i haven't even seen like hocus pocus um like i don't know like there's just a lot that i haven't seen and i'm gonna make it my mission to actually watch this movie along with hocus pocus because i know there's a new one coming out and my sisters and cousins always talk about it like they actually was gonna do like a, a halloween party hocus pocus theme and i was just like what's the big deal about hocus pocus but i am gonna make it my mission to watch that one along along with the nightmare before christmas but yeah, as you saw like on that one i was trying to do the goblin i believe i don't know what it's called but I was trying to do that and I just could not get the proportions of the eyes right so I was kind of getting frustrated because I ended up turning the camera off and was like sitting there for like 30 to 40 minutes just trying to do the eyes and I just could not get it right and I was like okay I'm just gonna try doing the mouth and all together it just didn't look right to me so I ended up wiping all of that off and I just end up googling Nightmare Before Christmas and then I went to images and I was just like looking just trying to see what else I could add to this nail and I was picking out like a lot of things that I saw like more than once because I felt like that would be like the main thing that the show would include so I did end up seeing a lot of bats so I put a bat in the middle of the nails and then one picture stood out to me I did see like I believe his name is Jack like Jack Skeleton I did end up seeing he was holding a string of Christmas lights um so I did end up putting like a string of Christmas lights through the bat and I didn't know if this was gonna like make or break this set because I did want to go for like more Halloween thing but I am gonna be doing the nightmare before Christmas so I guess it kind of ties in but I was like I don't really know if this is gonna be good for this set but then I was like, it's different in a way because I haven't really seen anyone include Christmas lights whenever they do this um, movie design of nails. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go with it. If I like how it turns out, I am going to cure. If I don't like it, I'll just file it off and do it again or try something else. But I actually did end up liking it. So once I finished adding on the lights, I did take a lot of the different gel liner colors and just put on the light bulbs. And like I said, I did end up liking it, so I did go ahead and cure that. And now moving on to the next nail. And I can just already know, if you've seen the movie, you already know what this nail is going to be. I'm going to be taking this yellow gel liner for the moon. And this is going to be like the cover art of the movie. Like whenever you see Nightmare Before Christmas nails, you are going to see this little moon with a little um, swirly heel, I believe. Like I said, I didn't see the movie. I don't even know what it's about besides it being a nightmare before christmas day i guess but i'm going to be doing that once i perfect my circle i am going to be curing and then using that black gel liner paint to create my heel So like I mentioned before, I did not create this set. I am looking at like a picture of the inspo picture and I believe my nail was a little bit too long for my proportions. So I did have to like make the heel a little bit wider just so that it wouldn't look super skinny. So I am just going to perfect that. And this was honestly my one of my favorite nails that I did. It was really fun to create this little swirly heel. Um... So yeah, I just really have fun with this nail art. I do believe I get better and better each time I try. So if you guys want to try doing nail art like this, I just want to say just go ahead and try it. Practice. Practice really makes improvement. And like before, like I honestly would have never thought I would be nail I would be doing nail art like this. And even though I do get frustrated a lot during the process of them, if I keep going, like I've done plenty of sets where I've got so frustrated I wanted to quit, but I just kept going. And in the end, I actually do love how they turn out. So yeah, just keep going. Even if you think you'll never be able to get it, just practice and practice and I promise you will improve. 
but yeah this nail was so much fun to do once i did that i did cure and i'm going to be taking the white gel liner from kira sky i put some on my nail palette and i'm taking a dotting tool to create some dots and i am going to be doing like two four pointed stars just to kind of add a little bit more spice to this nail i really love doing the four pointed stars i do feel like it's a good filler for nails if you don't know what to do if the nail looks a little bit too plain go with four pointed stars i love doing them um they are a little bit difficult to do at first but once you get the hang of it i do feel like it gets super easy and i went ahead and cured that i didn't know what background color i was gonna do for my pointer finger so i did wait and then after some looking and thinking i did end up just doing black so i did two coats of the black um gel polish from not polish and now i'm gonna be creating jack skeleton this is also one of my favorite nails and it just amazed me at the outcome so now I'm taking the white gel liner, which is Nova, and I'm going to be creating a huge circle for his head. Again, I am looking at an inspo picture, and he was so much fun to create. And I don't really think I have to, like, explain what I'm doing because, like, it's just a bunch of circles and lines. It's actually super easy. Um, I did feel like I needed to make his head a little bit bigger, so the little mistake that I put it was like a little dot I was gonna end up moving I did just end up making that part of his head to um, make it bigger and I'm just gonna be perfecting the circle and then I'm gonna go and do the neck and everything and yeah I'm just gonna let this part play out unless I feel like I need to say something and let you guys enjoy because I do feel like I've been talking this whole entire time so I'm just gonna let this part play out for you guys and let you enjoy the art process So the part that I'm doing right now, which is his like collar, I do believe it's like a bat or something. Um, I did the best I could. I don't feel like it's like perfect, perfect, but you can tell obviously what it is. So I was super happy at how that turned out. And I went ahead and flash cured this. You will see a little bit of wrinkles and like the white gel polish. Um, I mean the white gel liner just because I didn't let it cure completely. I did just want to flash cure it just in case I messed up anything. And I'm going to be going in with the black gel liner doing his eyes, which are just really big circles. And then I'll be doing his eyebrows, nose, and mouth, which are just lines. Super easy to do. And I'm just so excited for you guys to see the finished look. So this was gonna be it, but I did take some of that sheer gel polish from 
the not polished one i did end up mixing it with a little bit more clear to make it more sheer and i'm taking a little application brush and i'm just going to be doing some shading on jack skeleton's face and on the neck part and a little bit below the eye and on the forehead just to kind of give it some dimension and make it look just a little bit better and once i did that i did cure i added some four pointed stars above his head and a few dots just to kind of fill in the nail a little bit and this is how the set turned out and so right here i was debating on if i should do the nails matte or glossy so i do have a matte top coat but once i did that layer i was just like i really love how they look glossy like the shine looks so good on top of this design so i just went in on all of the nails not really making sure it's neat just yet i was just trying to like see if i would like it glossy but in the end i did make sure that it was a very thin layer of this matte top coat and i cured it so this is how it looked glossy before i cure it and I want you guys to let me know which one you like best. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds and I'll show you what they look like matte. And this is what they look like matte. I did go ahead and add my cuticle oil because I am done with this um, nail set. And I do, I think I like them a little bit better matte just because I feel like when I do nail art like this, you can kind of see the details better. And then also I went more towards the matte just because when I try to take my pictures, there's like a lot of glare in the nail art. So like you can't really see them. So, so yeah, this is what the nails look like. Let me know down below in the comments if you like the matte or glossy. I really love how this nail art ended up turning out and of course the beginning of the video we can't forget to feature my tennis bracelet from Julia Jewelry. Um, I will leave everything down below like it just looks so so cute on my wrist like I just love everything about it. I 100% recommend you guys checking out the website and like I mentioned once they email me back or I get the information I will have my discount code down below for you guys and then even after the matte top coat once I finished taking my pictures I was still kind of indecisive so I went over my nails with a top coat but I did not cure because I do like them a little bit better matte so I did go ahead and just take some pictures and videos just to show you guys what they look like glossy and then remember I said I didn't have enough darkness in my room to show you guys what the glow in the dark look like so I am going to be showing you guys now this is what the swatches look like glowing in the dark they do glow super bright especially after being charged in the UV light and of course we cannot forget about the nails so i went ahead and charged them in my uv light and this is what the glowing effect looks like these nails look so cool in the dark like i do think they look better in person though because on camera like since it's really dark in the room then like they just can't really focus as much as you can see them in person but i really really love doing this nail set i really enjoyed using the um gel liners and then here's a sneak peek of another set of nails that i did for a real I'm not going to be doing a video, but I will show them um, on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, make sure to go ahead and head over there. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about today's nail set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.